it is January 13th, 2022. My name is Vera V. I'm 17 years old. And today I graduated high school early to be a singer songwriter. I think you should get some Kleenex, some tissues, because I think I'm gonna cry. This is going to be painful. I already know. So let's just, let's just jump in head first. Oh my god. It's actually not that bad. Oh yes it is. Why did I try to open my eyes like this? Um, good morning. It's 6.06 6 a.m. Who knows? <laughs> All I know it's fairly early. And this is one of my last days of high school. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about this except weird it out. By the way, if my bed creaks, just know that it's super broken. Some of the boards are out, but um, and my mattress is this thin. So when I sleep, I basically sleep on boards. That's how it is. That's called back pain when you're 60. <laughs> Hopefully not. I'm superstitious. But yesterday I couldn't even fall asleep even though I went to bed at I think 10 or so. It was like going to bed before your birthday. It's really hard to fall asleep for some reason. But I'm here, here we are, here we are. Right my last days of high school. So I thought I'd document it. My sister's text woke me up and good thing that it did because if it hadn't, I would have been sleeping right now. I, I, I pressed snooze like 15 times. I can now open my eyes. I look super sexy, thank you. <laughs> Let's go. I literally don't want to go. Somebody make me go. Somebody pull up right now and make me go. Because I think I'm going to stay here forever. That's <laughs> sad. I was so expecting this. Anyway, you know what, let's let's get our asses off this. What is this? Why am I sitting on bed? I feel like they're going to break even more now. <laughs> don't jump on myself. All right, let's go. Uh, man, what a time. <laughs> the first thing on my agenda and i have not stretched in two days two days i've been so consistent about stretching this whole first week of 2022 and then i just did it it's so easy to fall off it's much harder to keep going but here we are look at all these balls i have <laughs> school in like an hour um is this even filming yeah it is okay well i was taking a shower because i'm clean now obviously you could not already tell i was like oh my gosh i feel so bad like what's wrong with me and then i realized how nervous i was for today nervous shoddy was nervous to go to school and i still am because thing is today i'm filming a lot in school that's not something i typically do ever not in school you know what i mean also i don't know which camera to look at this this or this anyway today i want to talk to all my teachers and ask for them to be in the video i hope they say yes i went to two high schools in my lifetime i went to this one other one for the first semester of my freshman year and then i moved here obviously it's the same city like it's, it's just a different high school in the city which is cool i guess and so when i was leaving that high school i did the same exact thing i asked my teachers what was it like having me in your class this semester and what advice would you wish me for the future? And so ironically enough, I was there for a semester and now I'm here for a semester. So it'd be so fitting to be like, what was it like having me in your class this semester? Because it's literally been a semester. I'm graduating early if you couldn't already tell. So. And thing is with me, <laughs> let's get a little bit narcissistic and talk about myself for 20 minutes. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hopefully not 20, hopefully 30. I'm just channeling my nervous energy into you. So if you start to feel nervous all of a sudden, it's because of me. Once again, I don't know which camera to look at. We're just guessing here, whatever. With me, I tend to separate my work life and my personal life. So obviously there are kids at school who know who I am, who know of me, who've seen my videos. Cause I mean, it's kind of hard not to when they've been watched by like millions of people, quite literally millions of people. That's insane. Not all, but there's this one that blew up recently. And I think a lot of people from Southern California followed me and I live in Southern California. So yeah, there are kids at school who ask me, Oh my gosh, there are kids at school who know of me. And the thing is at school, I'm very unapproachable. And I mean that, not in like a, I really am unapproachable at school because I just listen to music and I read and I mind my business. Like I feel like when I go to school, I'm just a different person, you know? 
I don't know. It, it, I know it's, it does make quite a bit of sense, but I just, I just feel very different. And so yesterday, I was walking home from class, and then this one girl was like, Are you Vera? And I said, Yes. And she said, Oh, I love your page. I hope you become a singer. And she was so sweet. I'm sure she was a freshman or something. She was just tiny, but oh my gosh, this made my whole week. I think this made my high school experience, honestly. And then one day, I was sitting in the pod, which was like space between two classes, because for sixth period, I'm a teacher assistant which translates to I either grade or do nothing and at that specific point in time I did nothing meaning I read I finished a book in school yesterday by the way suicide by the way live it so and so I was just spending my time there and then this one girl comes out of a class Spanish and she's like hey like are you Vera or something I don't remember and I said yes and she said oh I love your page it's really inspiring me and I forgot to get her name, so that's great. I don't even know why I'm like this. So yeah, technically, I've already been recognized in public several times because school is a public place. It's so cool though, gosh. Honestly, what would be the biggest honor of my life is if someone asked to take a photo of me because I would actually just like <coughs> disease. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I guess we'll see because 2022 is going to be a big year, so we'll see where things go, but yeah. So regarding school and stuff, people I've encountered are absolutely the sweetest. There was a time where I first came into class on the first day of school my government class which i have today by the way and all i heard was whispers hmm. but i feel like generally they're not a whole malicious people you know what i mean not that i've encountered at least so i'm very lucky that way my friends they know about it someone asked me once they're like oh how do you how do you like hide something how do you hide this page from your friends like, what would you do if they found out shoddy how could i hide my page from my friends like we talk on instagram they would know so yeah, they know. But honestly, this week has been kind of crazy and I mean wild. Because today, for example, I'm going to be on school television. Which is really funny because this is my second to last day at school. So will I ever see that episode? No. I mean, I can watch it online. This is going to be my first time being on school television. I'm already in the yearbook. I think I have a tennis highlight on me or something. I'm already in the newspaper. I was for September. They did a whole thing on me. That's so cute. And now I'm going to be on school television. And people are going to watch this episode when they're sitting in their homeroom. And just be like, oh, like I feel like I, she looks familiar. And I'm not going there anymore at the moment. So that's kind of cool. It's like a little thing. Also, what I did not expect is that at the moment, I feel a little bit sad. And I don't even know why. This is something I've been looking forward to for so long. For more than half of my high school career just graduating for the first time and i knew i was going to graduate early back in eighth grade like i knew i wanted to do it but i wanted to do it junior year but now here we are you know just one semester off it's fine but i honestly i'm gonna miss it in a sense i know it's the right step but it's a little nostalgic because i've been going to school for 11 years like imagine leaving that or i mean i guess you don't have to imagine because we all leave but there's this quote don't be sad that it's over be happy that it happened or something i'm channeling that little corny energy live laugh love type vibe i like the live laugh listen listen live laugh love gets dragged for no reason at all i think it's a good quote i get that it's like live laugh laugh <laughs> but i like it i do it's corny or cheesy i don't know the difference between the two but i like it i like it and regarding my approachability in school or lack thereof i'll recreate how i am so my school ends at 2 15 let's say it's the last class of the day which i'll give you a specific scenario on monday specific that was really funny <laughs> it was really funny i don't know what's with people approaching me like i really am unapproachable um but just it's just the way i am i'm in the yo i was walking out of class and then this guy hit the door for me in my class and i've never spoken to him ever i don't think he's gonna watch the video so whatever so i said thank you obviously because i may be unapproachable but i like to think i'm courteous so I said, thank you. And then he asked if I was excited. And I was like, for what? <laughs> I said graduation, because he's also graduating early. And I was like, oh yeah, that's in four days. At the time it was four. No, it's literally two. Today and tomorrow, and that's it. Oh gosh, I'm excited. I'm excited, I'm excited. So conversation tied in or whatever. And <laughs> since he's not gonna watch this video, he asked me for coffee. <laughs> I was like, sorry to break it to you, but I'm caffeine sensitive. I am. I am. Regarding the influence of my podcast in my life, when we were talking, I immediately started interviewing him and I realized that I do that for pretty much everybody I meet. I just start like very prying questions, but not to the point where they're offensive or rude. It's just very, I don't know. I love learning about people. So <sighs> yeah, anyway, <laughs> today it's not going to be like that because after class I have to stay and ask my teachers to be in the video. So it's not going to be like dash, but I guess we'll see how it goes. And also once. He's not gonna watch that video either. I was hanging out with this one guy. It wasn't that long ago. 
The vibes are just off, right? I wanted to go home as quickly as I could. And he was really nice. It's nothing about him. It's all about me. And I mean the it's not you. It's me. What a hundred percent. I don't know what's up, but I just something was off. It just wasn't like a friendly thing anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when he dropped me off, I asked for him to drop me off at a park nearby because I'm. I take precautions with my address, even though he's she's a very nice person, very kind. Whatever. <laughs> This is a little embarrassing. Guys, I really be like that sometimes. I don't even know why. So anyway, <laughs> like he dropped me off at this park, right? And then he was like, oh, he was saying something. Maybe it was like, I had a good time or have a good rest of your day. But mid-sentence, I just, I stood up, I closed the door and like, I, I almost started running back. I can't believe I said that. Now, you know, sometimes I glitch. It'd be like that sometimes. Very unapproachable at school, but um, that pattern's gonna have to change for today because I'm making this video. Also, I love wide angle, do you? I think it's so fun. <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> I don't have a vlog camera, so this is how I do ear training because I do it on my phone and I can't film on my phone. I literally lie down like this. This isn't even a pillow, and I kid you not, I've been doing this for like, I don't know how long now, like eight minutes. <laughs> Ear training, I am a singer songwriter, right? Claiming my identity. Now I'm working on releasing my first song. I still gotta record it, but I'll take you on the journey, obviously. This is not about that. This is about ear training. So for me, I didn't grow up in a musical family. I've talked about this on my podcast. I don't feel like I'm a musician by talent or by birth, if that makes sense. Some people they come out of the womb singing and they're just so good at it, or playing, even. I'm not like that. I really have to learn everything I'm good at. With music related um except for writing because i feel like i have a knack for writing i like writing anyway but with ear training it's especially important to quite literally train your ears and so it's actually part of my new habits that i'm implementing for 2022 and so far it's been really good i've skipped sometimes but i pretty much do it every day for like 30 minutes and i'm doing it before school so train your ears if you're a musician if you take away anything train your ears and hopefully you take away a lot of things More rat. okay bye mm. <laughs> so it's january right southern california right now it's like 18 degrees celsius i already know i'm gonna have people asking why i'm going to school so late let me explain i don't have a first period i have to be in school by 10 10 so <laughs> What was it like having me in your homeroom for the past three years? You brought such a sense of maturity and calmness and this positive attitude to TA that I absolutely loved having you in our homeroom. Thank you so much. And what piece of advice would you give me for the future? Find joy in everything you do. Ask yourself, does this make me happy? And is this ultimately what I want to do? What was it like having me in your class this semester? Uh, you've been a fantastic student. Uh, you were someone I could rely on 100% of the time, which is, is hard to say and hard to, to talk. I, I knew that I could rely on you to not only do quality work, but also to be on topic, to be on task. I knew that if I needed uh, you to, us to get somewhere with an answer, you would be there in a heartbeat. You were someone I could rely on, and I, could, I, I think that that says everything. Thank you. And do you have any advice for me for the future? Participate. You just yeah. say this in the whole class. <laughs> Participate in your society. Mm -hmm. Be a part, be an active part. Vote in every election. Be a part of your society. Know what's going on. Have an opinion uh, and, 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 and vote by it. And, okay. and vote by uh, vote, vote what's right for you and, and participate. <laughs> like having me in your class this semester? Oh, it was fantastic. You were um, 
quite the contributor. I, I loved your comments. Everything that you said was on point. I think it elevated our discussions all the time. Uh, you have good insight into um, not just the literature, but the films, and you seem to enjoy it. And your work was very good. Thank you. And what would you wish me as a piece of advice for the future? The schedule that school provides um, keeps you on a consistent work schedule and it provides you with a structure for your life. And when you leave school and you get out of that structure, you have to find some sort of structure to keep that, uh, to keep that work ethic going. The people who are most successful, I think, are the ones that are able to find that work ethic. From what I've seen from you, you have a very good work ethic. And the challenge will be just to continue with that and to keep that strong work ethic. Because that, that will um, overcome many other obstacles that you will have. Many other uh, things that will, other people may find more challenging, you will be able to succeed more. Okay, thank yeah. you. There's going to be so much graduation content, a podcast episode, this YouTube vlog, and then all the reels that are to come. And I was just gathering all the materials for that, obviously. And I was just thinking that I knew I was going to graduate early since eighth grade, right? I knew that's what I wanted to do. And now that it's coming, I just, I want to cry a little bit. I, I don't know why. <laughs> because I mean, I have been looking forward to this for the entire semester. I wanted to graduate more than anything. I think it's September. And now I know it's the right choice for me, but I just, I just want to crack a lot bit. I just want to crack. Oh gosh. What is this? This year, 2022 is going to be absolutely incredible. And I mean that it's going to be so much growth for me. And I'm, as soon as I graduate, I'm literally starting something. <laughs> it's going to be such a big year for me. And I'm just so grateful that you're on this journey with me. I don't know. Like I'm so honored. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Maybe I'll cry today or tomorrow. But it's making me a little bit sad. I'm gonna miss my friends. <laughs> I love our group. I've been friends with them since freshman year. <laughs> freshman year. Ugh. They were the only relief in this. Them and books. Like, it was them and books during school. So, yeah. Well, here we are. It's the end of a chapter that's been going on for the past 11 and a half years. 11 and a half years. Can you imagine that? <sighs> All right, well, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, right now, I'm going to go sing. I'm going to play piano and um, practice. Tomorrow it's all gonna disappear A place I've been in for the past 11 years <laughs> I'm kidding uh, I love just singing This is it, I'll see you tomorrow, bye! Country music mode Okay, so this is my very last time in getting ready for school I feel like my... my Eyes are gonna well up with tears plenty of times, like a lot of times, but I, I don't think I'm gonna cry. Cry. I mean, I guess I guess we'll see, but I, I don't think so. I'm also starting my makeup off of the left eye today, which I do not ever do. So graduating high school, let's talk about it. I'm gonna record a podcast episode on this today, but um, I just wanna, I wanna actually live through today first. If you don't listen to my podcast already, what are you doing? Do it. Link in description. Also, just search stories by Verivy and you'll find it. You'll find it. <laughs> Graduating one semester early, but nonetheless, while I'm here, people are going to be going to school. That's crazy to think about. I'm doing it because I want to be a singer-songwriter. And I already am. But like, I just want to make it public and start recording and releasing songs. You know what I mean? Which is honestly what my podcast is about, partly. It's about my journey, becoming a singer, songwriter, performer, musician. Will I miss my friends? Yes. Will I miss the whole atmosphere? A little bit, yeah. But I think what makes my school experience so bittersweet right now is the fact that I'm leaving. That's also what makes it good. <laughs> Sounds really weird, but I'm telling you, on any normal day, I would not be as emotional about school as I am today. I did not like going to school this year, if I'm being frank. Like, obviously, I could find things I love about it, obviously. 
but it was my favorite thing to do. But right now, since I'm leaving, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna miss this so much. And I think the thing with that is that brings on new anxieties about the future and that's only so natural. But I think for me, like I, I did high school tennis, right? And that was my second and last season this year. You can also listen to an episode about that. It's called Taking Chances Changed My Life. And I thought I was gonna feel so sad once the season was over. And I did cry at the banquet ceremony, but because my life moves so fast and I have so much going on, like I, I've never really missed it. You know what I mean? I think it's gonna be the same with school. Obviously I can reminisce and be like nostalgic, but I don't think I'm gonna miss it because life keeps going quite literally. Maybe when I'm 80, I'm gonna have like a ton of regrets, but I'm saving my regrets for when I'm 80. If I have regrets now, I'm 17. I've got my full, my whole life ahead of me, unless something happens, which I don't think it will. I hope it won't. I'm superstitious, I already told you that. I do this little spitting thing. <laughs> it's so funny and I forget that people don't know what it is. So sometimes like I'm just in front of people like, and they're like, what are you doing? Confirming my superstitions. And regarding the graduation ceremony, because I know I have the opportunity to go to that and prom and stuff and grad night. Will I be going? No. And I'll tell you why. So my experience with high school, if you want to hear about that, listen to the episode. It's going to be out by the time you watch this video. But it's been pretty meek. I mean, it had to be because quarantine. You know what I mean? Quarantine. Last year was, I was going to school two times a week and everything else was online the year before that because the cord got pulled for the last half of the year. It was... The second of it was just online, you know what I mean? But I've been to school dances, one in particular, winter formal, and I absolutely hated it. Hated it. Almost every second of it. Hated it. Music was bad. I mean, I guess it also depends on the people I went with and the people I went with were not it. <laughs> you know, you live and you learn. I didn't like the mosh pit. People were stinky and warm. It was disgusting. I'm very sensitive to smells. Like, I didn't like it, obviously. It was, it was not a good experience. And I think right now, because I'm graduating, this is signifying that I am ending a chapter of my life that's been going on for the past 11 and a half years. I've been, I first went to school on September 1st, 2010. 2010. That was almost 12 years ago. Regarding prom and grad night, like I know it's perks that seniors look forward to. I don't, I don't really care. I don't know why I'm like this. I don't know why I'm like this. Cause I know, I know it's a cool thing, especially with recent events where um, this, okay, I'm friends with this guy, or I guess it was, whatever. Um, He's a year ahead of me. So right now he's in college. And when he was a senior in high school, so last year, he told me that they did have prom, but there was no dancing allowed because of restrictions. Like what are you even supposed to do at prom then? So everybody had to stand in their own little circle and like not dance, just like stand. What? So I know the fact that we're probably gonna have a more normal, what does normal mean? I don't know. Prom, it, it's good. Yeah, it's good. But personally that just, I don't know. It just doesn't click with me. And also the same thing about grad night. Like I'm sure it's fun, but it's gonna be in five months. In five months, I'm gonna be a whole different person, which makes me back to graduation. Will I be attending the graduation ceremony? Most likely not, unless I'm like doing it for a video or something. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it just it is what it is. It's not that I don't want to show face or anything like that It's just not it's not my place school is not my place. I knew that from the get-go I just knew it wasn't my place and in five months I'm gonna be a whole different person with a whole new life because right now I'm not a student of school anymore I'm a student of the world of life. You know what I mean? And so with graduation as of right now, what am I gonna be graduating from in May? I'm graduating mentally now. I've graduated mentally like a year and a half ago. Really I have I've graduated mentally last year last year spring the last day of school, last day of my junior year, I was like, I'm done with this shit. And then I came back for another semester because I had to legally follow laws, guys. They're created for a reason. Follow laws, oblige the laws, societal laws. And so I think the graduation ceremony, in my case, it just would make sense. So I will not be going. Most of the people you're friends with, you're friends with because you guys have a class together or because you have an interest. But what if that changes? You know, in five months, I don't know who I'm going to be. And that sounds like, I don't know who I'm gonna be, but I don't know who I'm gonna be. I know I'll be me and I'll be a badass boss leader. <laughs> I'm just joking, this is my morning pep talk to myself. I know I'm gonna be a great person, obviously, very successful. I feel it. Even my government teacher said I'll be successful and I'm like, yeah. And my teachers, keep in mind, they know nothing about me. Literally, I'm, I'm a very quiet student in the sense that whenever I have something to say, I say it, but most of the time I just don't wanna be there. So I like do my own things. So whatever they said, very nice of them, incredibly and excessively so. All my dreams are coming true, and that's not to be dramatic, I literally mean it. All my dreams are coming true. I'm gonna get my driver's license in two weeks, 13 days. Hopefully, if I pass the test, which I think I will. But that's that, that's for another video. <laughs> I'm gonna release my first song soon. Um, I'm gonna record it first. All my dreams are coming true. Like, life is really, really good right now. 
and I think it will be until the day I take my very last breath because I know I'm lucky I know I'll be successful because I'm lucky and my work ethic so I remember getting ready in this room for my very first day at this school gosh that felt like ages ago okay I did it I did it yeah that's it that's it Okay. This is my outfit and before you ask, I know you will, let me just give you the deets. So this is my mom's. It's super old. I was not able to find anything like this anywhere. These are my mom's. Super old Levi's. Was not able to find anything like this anywhere. These are, well, whatever. I'm not wearing them to school, so. <laughs> okay, Bob. This is my last time going to school ever. I have to bring my books and I have to return everything today. I only have two books for government and then I have a Chromebook, a computer, and then that's it, so. I'm supposed to be in art class right now, but we don't do anything, so I was working on stuff. Literally working in school, it's what I've been doing for the past four months. I remember when I had, I think, 100 days left or so, and now it's zero. I gotta get through today and that's it. I'm so sad. I'm gonna miss my friends so much. <laughs> Oh gosh, okay. Also, you guys on Instagram are the absolute sweetest. I, uh, I think I teared up in class because of your messages. Oh my god. What was it like having me in your class this semester? So, having Vera in my class was kind of a breath of fresh air because the art that you make in the class is definitely more involved in your personal style than just copying like a tutorial or just going with through the motions. You really use really expressive lines and you're really bold with both your dark, dark shadows and your colors and your ideas are just more emotional and more unique than a lot of the students I see. So Thank um, you. Yeah. <laughs> and what piece of advice would you give me for the future? I think to go along with like that you really like my breath of fresh air with your unique is to not lose that. Don't become someone who's a follower. Just stay uniquely yourself and you'll do it. What was it like having Vera in my class? It was wonderful because Vera always put in over 110%. Um, always so many thoughtful connections and I was always impressed by her professionalism and her just complete drive and passion for what she loves to do which is obviously create content and music and all of those amazing creative things. Thank you. And what piece of advice would you give me moving forward? Uh, continue to follow your passion and continue to find joy and love in all of the things you do. Um, when you start getting bored, you know that it's time to move on. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and yes, all of those things. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Never. Oh, oh gosh. Look at the Caesar salad. <laughs> now my backpack is filled with food. That's the sandwich my sister made and my friend gave me Caesar salad. She sacrificed her lunch for my Caesar salad because I get it every day. I'm gonna cry. Just, I'll just keep it rolling. You should tell them about Damien. Oh, oh yeah, my god. Okay, so my first question is, what was it like knowing me for the past five years, three and a half, three and a half? I mean, it's been fun. We've like gone through like the ups and downs of high school. You know, we witnessed like school fights. Two. Like, you know, one. I know, school. Yeah. I know, this school's like really boring. The confessions account. Oh, oh. Vera was featured on there multiple times. Multiple times. Two times. Well, I've known Vera since eighth grade. She has told me before that she thought I was really mean. But like, I mean, I guess the fact that we're still friends five years later says that I'm not mean. It was cool going through like the most, I guess, the most interesting phase of our lives. The most yeah. awkward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to be honest. The most interesting the fact that we experienced two school fights. <laughs> Peak of my existence. Oh my God, Vincent! Oh, oh my God. God. Vera has like admirers. Stalkers? Yes. Um, Stop climbing. Vera, you know this is about Like taking pictures of you, like in the halls. Yeah, Vera has stalkers and admirers. And then now with your God, we're gonna have stalkers and admirers because we are associated <laughs> with um, the queen. I mean, I'll trespass. It's okay, guys. Yeah. Okay. So for my next question, what piece of advice would you give me for the future? 
You give us a home. Take time for yourself. Like, try not to, like, burn out. Okay, that's yeah. good. And go for it. I am so much ahead of you. Like, you could do so many things. <laughs> We're so lazy. Like, you are yeah, actually right. going to do this stuff. And I'm yeah. excited to see If you. any of us are going to get anywhere in life, it's, it's you. you. <laughs> like, we're counting on you. <laughs> We're excited to see you. How oh, far you go? I'm gonna come okay. visit you in your mansion. Find us in the backstage section of Paris <laughs> Concert. VIP. We <laughs> will give. We will be giving out autographs. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be so weird to have you because you're like. I know. I know. Every day. And so now it's gonna turn out like empty. <laughs> <laughs> Things, and we're gonna be still stuck in high school. <laughs> <laughs> still stuck in English class. <laughs> I know. Like, oh, wait. Is, wait, are we jumping? <laughs> wait, how do you guys jump? What do you do? Do you put your arms out? Or no, like, no. Just, jump, just jump straight up. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Okay, ready? Okay, ready? Okay, ready. <laughs> Hurry up! Hi! <laughs> <Hurry up. laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Go. Why do we all go before go? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one, and then jump. I'm gonna say go. Three, two, one. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> yes. This is so That's funny. This is my very last time walking home from school, and while I was in Spanish, um, so I was a teacher assistant and I didn't do anything. That's what that translates to. A girl came up to me and asked if she could take a picture with me because I'm famous. That's the first person who has ever taken a photo with me. Yeah, this is it. I'm going home now. I cried a little bit, but that's about it. And also my business communications teacher, she said that she feels like I'm going to be super famous.